Okay, in this video I'm going to teach you how to play Android apps or run Android apps on the Playbook OS 2.0. Okay, this will only work on 2.0 because 2.0 has an Android runtime and the 1. Point something that you guys have doesn't work. So first you get a 2.0. Let me go. Yeah, you only go to this website, fill in your pin, fill in your email, and it'll send you a pitch. Uh, it'll push your update to you. It'll show up on your playbook, and you just press download and update. I'll have all the links inside the description, so you no need to worry. So once you have installed that, you'll need to download DDPD installer. Install that, and then because that runs off Java, you're going to download Java. All these are in the description. Don't worry about. It. Now you're going to open the DDPD installer. Now here's the thing: you should have already have all the bar files. Uh, I know that like the Android apps are APK, so you need to convert them to bar. I'm going to make a video on how to do that shortly after. I'm not sure when. I have to wait until um, Blackberry sent, Rim sends me the CSJ file so I can sign the tools and convert them. Now, right now, you should have enabled developer mode in on your i on your playbook. So make sure you're on OS 2.0, okay? Once you're on OS 2.0, enable development mode, okay? It'll tell you to create a password, just create a password. And then you should have this icon showing up on top bar and development on, and it'll have your IP address. Now, remember this first IP address, if you have two, some people will just have one. Remember that IP address, take it, okay? And then you're going to go to your DDP installer, okay? And type in that IP address. Okay, and then the password that uh, you created when you enabled development mode, okay? Now you're going to add your bar files, I already added them, they're already here. Now I'm going to add all of them, so I check all, press install. And then it'll start installing it on your playbook, and you'll just have to wait. So like, yeah, I'm going to pause the video here, and I'll resume it when it's done. Okay, so once it's done, it'll say done, and then when you look on your playbook, Okay, I'll, let me take some screenshots of the playbook so I can show you. Uh, okay. So when you look at your playbook, you'll see that the things you have is installed. Oh shit, so cool, right? Now you have email on playbook. Okay, so you can launch one of them, let me launch, let's say, email. Okay. Uh, let me just take some screenshots. Okay. Um, refresh. And then Android apps. So uh, it's like an integrated Android player. You don't need to load up a player to load it. It's just integrated into it. So you just load it, and then it will show up just fine. And you can have your Android apps, and then you can have things like um, I know there's like no buttons on it, so you have to navigate around using the touch sensitive frame which is explained right here so like you have navigation bar right you can hide it but this is how you go back this is how you go forward 
and things like that. So it's pretty cool. That's how you install it. Now, not all apps will be working on this Android player because it's still in developer mode, I guess. It doesn't work very well. It's kind of slow, but then it's usable. It's usable. It's not like really, really slow that you'll notice it. Only if like you really pay attention to it. So it's pretty good. Um, the problem is you have to have the bar file, and then converting APK to bar is a pain in the ass. And yeah. You can go find bar files, but there's not a lot of them. So yeah, that's pro the problem, but that's how you get it. And I'll be making how you convert APK to bar very soon.